What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel, Royal Flush YGO here, bringing you guys the Generator Synchro Deck Profile. Um, so, as I said in the last video, you know, this will include Halifier Rex, despite my feelings on it, but it's it's a tool here for me to use, so I'm going to use it. Uh, there are many variants of Generator out there. Generator was a was my favorite deck coming out of Mystic Fighters. Um, it had the most potential, and from what I've seen, you know, it is the best of the three. Some of them being very com uh, competitive. Ooh, excuse me, competitively viable. Um, I'm playing the Synchro variant, which is a which is my favorite variant. Um, I think the most powerful is the gear, the one that runs Gearsu. Um, it's not bad, but <clears throat> but I'm gonna jump right in. So we're playing three Lopter. Uh, Lopter is my fire Lone Fire Blossom replacement from my original pure version. Um, he can tribute a generator monster on your opponent's turn. Uh, from here on out, I'm gonna refer to the tokens as monsters. Um, he tributes a generator monster, summons one from deck. That's a quick effect um, during your opponent's turn. All generator monsters, including himself get a stack so a thousand attack and thousand defense and since a lot of and a lot of people don't read that and don't know that they like to crash with a 2500 lo uh, lopter a or a 4000 uh har it's pretty funny um so that's on him uh run two har uh two is fine i don't need more than two um this is really really good so when your opponent adds a card you can uh, they'll randomly discard a monster from their hand. Uh, and he's an Omni Negate at the cost of two tributing two generator monsters. And he's 3k. Uh, the one of we have Mardell, she's a search she's a searcher. Nidhogg, Black Horn of Heaven, or a Solemn Strike, you know, negates a special summon. Um, Develgus, he can unclog your hand by tributing tokens. Um Utgarda, uh, Utgarda tributes two to banish. Hella tributes tokens to summon from graveyard, which is, which can come in handy depending on the situation. If you happen to have a har in graveyard, you know you can tribute one, get him back. Um, these one ups are great because they're all very situational, and a lot of the time you will be able to use them a lot. But majority of the time, these are kind of like world uh, world legacy monstrosity fodder. For look for rank nine plays. Uh, that's it for the generators side. So we're gonna get into the synchro, uh, the synchron side. So we have triple jet synchron <clears throat> and double mecha phantom beast O lion. Um, these cards are powerful. Uh, if I if the if a tuner were to get banned, it would be jet synchron. I doubt it though. Um, o lion is a really good card. Uh, the reason you run two O Lions is because you need uh, you need to be able to summon one from deck off of Mecha Phantom Beast Aurora Dawn, and if you open one, then your whole play is kind of screwed. Uh, then comes Deskbot 001. This card is just dumb. Uh, and Quick Draw Synchron. Quick Draw Synchron is just a great way to get a tuner on field, uh, so you can go into Hall of <laughs> Uh, moving on, we're gonna go into the hand traps. So, triple ash blossom. Uh, this probably will be changed depending. Uh, de really depends on how often I see Numerons. So, I haven't gone to locals in a month. And I know everyone in the Facebook chat is talking about Numerons, so I may replace this with Ghost Ogre. It's just ash blossoms, you know, ash blossom. Then the single copy of Nibiru. Uh, I know why one. Well, one comes in handy. And the other two are in the side deck. That completes it for our monster lineup. We're going to move on to the spells. So obviously triple generator boss stage. The best, the most beautiful field spell in the game. And the best field spell second only to orchestrated Babel. Uh, whenever your opponent adds a card from deck to hand, or whenever they draw, um, you summon a generator monster from your deck. Uh, that is not a hard once per turn. So if you, if your opponent activate, uh, when your opponent triggers this during their draw phase of their turn, and then midway through, like when they're doing a combo, uh, you can activate the trap card, activate another one, then they'll draw a card, then you'll be able to summon another generator from deck. Um, 
the token generation, which is when you, you'll summon a generator monster, then you'll generate as many tokens as possible. That is a hard once per turn. The tokens is a hard once per turn. That is actually really smart because if we could just generate the tokens whenever we want it, that's really, really dumb. Single copy of Terraforming because we want to see the field spell. Single copy of War Legacy Monstrosity. Um, we just want to try and draw into this. So, yeah, I know I should be running more than one, at least two, but kind of just one works right now uh, because there's a lot of other cards we want to see. Uh, you know, the ending board is not, uh, doesn't live or die if I have Monstrosity. The, the end board is going to be alright. Monstrosity is just a nice optional avenue. Um, next we're running triple copies of Tuning because we want to see that Jet Synchron. It needs to be in our hand. Uh, because this is a combo deck, we're running triple call by the Graves because we want to be protected. Uh, other one-ofs we have our Monster Reborn. This used to be World Legacy Succession, but that card is dumb in this deck, so I replaced it. Generator Boss Quest. Nice way to unclog the hand. And a one-for-one. One. So we're essentially we're running for Jet Synchron. So one of the reasons why I prefer this one over the Gearsu is because Gearsu is a three of that you can't search. At least to my immediate knowledge, you can't search. While Jet Synchron, I'm running seven copies of it. Three Jet Synchron, three tuning, one one for one. So this is more consistent, in my opinion, because I will almost always open a way to get to my combos. Um, that will be it for the spell lineup. Moving into the traps. Triple generator boss fight. Like I said, this card is great. You know, activate it when your opponent's comboing off and you can just summon another generator from deck after activating and they draw. Uh, obviously triple impermanence. Uh, this card is bonkers. I love it. And a single copy of Summon Limit. Again, this it's not an end-all be-all card, so it's nice to draw into. It's just essentially like a winning more card. The other two once more are in the side deck. I just have those depending on how it's played. Speaking of, we can just uh we'll just jump straight into the we'll jump straight into the side deck. So for the side deck we have oops, we have the remaining two copies of Nibiru. Again, it's situational depending on what we're playing. We have triple copies of Cosmic Cyclone. Secret rare, can't really see but I like the secret rare. Um triple copies of Cosmic Cyclone because I prefer this over Twin Twister because I'd rather not discard a card to get rid of because in this in this deck I want my options in my hand, so Cosmic Cyclone is just better. Uh, triple of the sackiest card in this game. Oops. Yoink. Evenly matched. This card's busted. Uh, and the remaining two copies of Summon Limit. Like I said, um, the deck is is entirely interchangeable you know depending on what I what I'm playing against I can easily just side out when I need to so we'll move on to the extra deck uh five beautiful generator tokens I'm so glad they made these these are beautiful uh, but that's not the extra deck so going into the extra deck. So we're going to start with Synchro Monsters, then we'll move up to Link Monsters. So Synchro Monsters, we have Formula Synchron, draws a card, Herald of the Arclight. I don't really make this a lot, but I, uh, when I when my avenues are kind of locked to me, I will make this. It's a good way around droplets, because um, it'll banish monsters. TG Hyper Librarian, the big boy who draws us cards. XL Synchron, who can depending on if you open Monstrosity or not. Ends on a really good place. Uh, Dragite, my Boral Sword replacement, until I can get a Boral, uh, not Boral Sword, a Boral Savage. Until I get Boral Savage. And Crocosaur. Crocosaur is a level nine, Monstrosity target. And overall good effects. Uh, that, that kills it for the Synchro lineup. We'll then move on to our Xyz. Uh, obviously VFD, Very Fair Dragon, uh, True King of All Calamities, Walking Floodgate, <clears throat> and Phantom Fortress, Inter Blathnir. I love Inter Blathnir. This card is great. Uh, when I need to, it's just a great way to clear the field for just banish cards. 
that's pretty much it. Man, just cards. And it's 2900 attack. I love 2900 attack. Moving on to the links, we have Link Karibo, Link Cross, Barricade Board Blocker, two copies of Hall of Fibrax, and a single copy of Mecha Phantom Beast of Robodon. <clears throat> um, so, I'm not playing a Boro Sword or anything like that because I don't really need to make that card. Um, this card, this deck is all about going first and locking the opponent out and then swinging in for the OTK. I know, standard Yu Gi Oh deck. But. It's, like I said, you know, I don't need to play things like Boros, uh, Boros Sword because I can go in for the OTK next turn being able to bring out uh, a Har or multiple Har's as well as other strong generators. Um, I hope you guys liked the video. You know, like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. And remember to check out the other channel, Team DMD. The next upload I'll be bringing to you guys is a combo video showing you the best uh, all possible outcomes. Good, average good, and best for this deck. Catch you guys in the next one.